Okay, guys, we are back at it with R E N T. Rent stock. This stock went from the lows of about four dollars all the way to the highs of twenty five dollars. This stock came in for a super massive explosion. Now we have R E N T stock touching up towards that overbought and dangerous ranges, and it's beginning to slow down a little bit. While this stock is still up at about seventeen dollars and ninety two cents, this stock is still up a hundred and forty two percent. Going for a hot dip today, we're getting ready to see rent stock even make another bull run ahead as they are waiting for. The next round of bullish divergence that we call R-E-N-T stock and the safe easy early seat in the Bank of Web Billy Discord when we were getting the early alerts yesterday morning from the volume ticker. I tell you guys, you see the volume ticker putting the stock out, especially early in the morning at 4 a.m. This stock is getting us ready to make the high move. If you were seeing that, you would have been in there at the early seat of $5 and then you would have been able to see all the coaches and analysts picking up R-E-N-T stock the next big mover that you did not want to miss out on rent stock before this stock came in for that massive bull run. Follow along with the pair, of, follow along with the volume ticker. When you see volume ticker starting to spam that stock out, you can be sure that that stock is going to be the next one that takes off and goes to the moon as these stocks do turn into parabolic plays. And this stock didn't only just didn't only just turn into just a simple parabolic play. This stock is beginning to go nuclear. This is a very Explosive stock right now. They are holding this stock up so strong that they even began to halt R E N T stock. And we were in the bank of with Billy Discord for the safe, easy early seat from the lows of those five dollars. Like I was just showing you guys, while we have updates on R E N T stock, this stock will push up past that twenty dollars. And make sure that you remember your seven to fifteen percent targets. If that stock is starting to dive down, you gotta have your stop loss set to that stock. For that 15% down, if that stock is good, if it is going to take a dip, you know, some people, some people get more and more bullish on the stock, you know, like for example, right now, how you can see that this stock will go down to a quick dip today because of, once the stock goes from its lows never sold for the day trade, this stock will go from about that $8 back up to $24 and then it becomes, it touches up towards that what? That overbought. You can see that bull, that bearish momentum shift coming in, followed up by that bearish divergence. That's the yellow MACD line crossing under the blue signal line and this stock will go from $24 down to the lows of $15. What they are doing is looking for that next round of bullish divergence and they already went for a quick round of the day trade. How can you tell? Well, if you go down to your one minute chart, you'll be able to see how your RSI actually did touch down towards those lows and oversolds and came in for the next round of bulls divergence for $15 for the quick day trade, whereas even right now as we speak, getting volatile, getting choppy, and even having red candlesticks forming from the highs of that $18 because of those one-minute chart traders went in for a quick, fast day trade. Those 15-minute chart traders who are looking for bullish divergence right now are looking for a little bit of a longer day trade, maybe even bullishness into the after hours. People who are looking into R-E-N-T stock on our swing trade time frames, they're looking at R-E-N-T stock at this touching up towards that we're bought saying this is a dangerous stock to be going in for a swing trade at this type of price so they'll be more comfortable going for a quick fast day trade but a lot of people will be looking at R-E-N-T stock for that long-term investment as you can see it's still at those lows and the results on your long-term investment time frames coming in for that next round of bullish divergence and the rsi is just now beginning to break back up into range this stock hasn't gone anywhere yet and this stock can take off right now r-e-n-t stock if i go ahead and show you this stock is huge in the short interest this stock can still come in for another massive move i mean it just puts up towards 24 dollars so i'm sure that some of those shorts already covered but nonetheless though with an average volume of 108,000, that current volume right now is getting up to a stupendous 37 million almost 40 million with a free float on 2.56 million those floats get filled fast if this stock does this again tomorrow and if the markets come in for more rounds of bullishness then stock will be getting ready to take off again tomorrow after a quick dip keep in mind everything going on with these stocks and all other stocks on the market is while the markets are pushing up more bullish than bearish you got about 3,300 advancers coming in about 2,500 decliners coming in we've seen the markets open up today with extreme bearishness and you can check out my last most active stock video we were talking about the hot stocks on the market and about how the market conditions were ever so bearish and i was telling you guys in that last video we were watching more advancers come in we're 
we're watching all the people who bought into these stocks at those low and results that those discounts were making things start to get more bullish and that we will be seeing the markets and more bullish than bearish and if this continues on with this type of trend we will be watching tomorrow come in to be more of a bullish day as well and they are projecting for next week to come in for more of a bullish day for more of a bullish week as well along with the rest of the year to be more of a bullish year with the markets pushing up too new heights along with tech and ai so if you are an rent keep an eye on your analysis order flow and you'll be able to see if you got the largest coming in or if the largest are going out and right now you have more larges that are going out of this stock you got more mediums that are going out of this stock and you have more smalls that are going out of rent stock even right now as we speak taking you back to a one minute chart you have the outflow that is outdoing that inflow and this stock is looking a bit more bearish right now because this stock is on a dangerous position closer up towards that over bought in dangerous ranges they are still looking for the next round of bullish divergence but it can still take a quick dip back down towards those eight dollars especially if the market don't hold up with such bullishness right now and actually do go back to being more and more bearish if i take you back into the overall market conditions we talk about the dows the s p 500s the nasdaqs you'll be able to see how even today they go from their lows and oversells back to this overbought range for a quick round of bullishness People like to get their calls and they put snot and stuff like that, you know, and they like to follow on with the conditions, but we will be seeing a quick dip come in throughout the day before the markets do close out for the end of decision if they're going to be bullish or bearish, you know. So make sure that you're keeping up with the market conditions. I take you back to see the overall market conditions along with your stock. Your stocks doing that. You need to go check out the overall market conditions because your market conditions are doing this and that. Well, that probably explains why your stocks are doing this or, or why your stocks are doing that. Well, there is hot news that has been coming out on RENT stock today. As we can see, this thing has been very active with the news. For those of you who don't know why this stock is getting so bullish or what's going on with the stock today, rent the runway stock is on the rise following the release of the share designer closet company Q4 earnings report. Rent the runway starts its Q4 earnings report with diluted earnings per share of negative seven dollars and two cents. That's worse than the negative six dollars and fifty three cents per share Wall Street expected. Even so, it can improve over the negative eight dollars and seven cents from the same period of the prior year. So what's really helping out rent stock today is that the company announced a Q4 revenue of $75.8 million. That's better than the $74.1 million that analysts were expecting during the quarter. It's also a slight improvement over the $75.4 million reported in Q4 to 22. Rent the Runway Chief Financial Officer Sid Thacker said the following in the earnings report that they believe the fiscal year 2024 will be a transformative year for Rent the Runway over the past several years. They have reduced fixed costs significantly and made considerable progress towards building a more capital light model. And they expect these actions to result in free cash flow break even for fiscal year 2024. So what's next is that the first quarter of 2024 doesn't look too bad for Rent the Runway with revenue guidance of 73 million to 75 million. For a comparison, Wall Street is expecting revenue of 74.95 million during that quarter. And the company's guidance for the full year of 2024 also includes revenue growth of 1% to 6% year over year. That includes expectations for an adjusted EBITDA margin of 15% to 16%. Making this stock get ever so bullish as people are getting ever so excited. Let me know if you are in RENT and what your expectations are. Um, if you're going to lock in gains at these heights. If you're just looking for another quick leg up or if you are actually one of those people who are going in for RENT stock for that super long-term investment. Because going in, people in there in the Bank of Big Discord and lows at 4 or $5 when we were learning this thing the state fees early see i was showing you want to see those alerts on time and if you see the volume ticker and the coach is picking the stock up uh yeah 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 yesterday yesterday morning while the stock was at 5 a.m still down at five dollars then you would have been able to be in this stock for the most parabolic move and the most multi-day bull run out of all the stocks that came in this week and even for the last few weeks but i'm billy banks let me know what you guys think, and um, I'll see you guys in the Discord, and happy trading.